There we go. There we go. Hello, everybody. This should all be working good. Oop, oop, oop. There we go. There we go. There we go. Thank you, Twitch. Always keeping me on blast. Um, where are we going? I can still hear myself now. There we go. Battery Watchtower. I think that because I wanted to do a quest. Also, hello. Welcome to the stream. Also, the video. Hi, Ethet. Um, West Tower. I believe that's where we... Yeah, we are here. Yeah, so... We're gonna go here for adventure. I think it'll probably go super, super well. Also, I can level up my main character. Or this is not my main character? No. Yeah, this is Maneha. Okay. This is the... Uh, sorry, it's just Maneha. It's very similar to my uh, previous main character. The, my main character in this one is... I forgot. Fairy. Small. Stealth is good. Okay. Uh, always a good one to have. Also a very good one to have. I think that might be a winner. A uh, fast runner is really handy for a uh, barbarian. So we're going to do that. Yeah, this is... This is me. Holland Oats. Making good decisions in character names since... Long time. Actually stealthing for some reason. Hmm. That seems bad. Yeah, use a gun, punch somebody, for the love of God. Yeah, punch an ice demon. Uh, always taking, I'm just... Um, try not running away. Okay. Well, that was relatively not that bad. Uh, a horny character, where the fuck straight? <laughs> they got it. You were stealth. Uh, I'm always stealth and always doing a terrible job. Oh. 
As you hold the bow and arrow together, the arrow suddenly snaps into place. You hear a crackling hum, and a pale ribbon of light begins to form between the ends of the bow. You, when you pull the arrow back, you feel very solid resistance. You have gained an item, Storm Collar. Hmm. Well, that's probably fine. Who uses a bow? You use a bow. Is this a good bow? You're already using an exceptional bow. I don't know. I keep it as a backup. Stealth is uh, rarely helpful. Okay, wait. What am I supposed to do here? Go up a different tower? Did I get this wrong? Well, at least I got that sweet bow that I missed before when I came up here. Okay. Um, how do we go up this tower? I guess we go in here and then up a different way. Um, I would like to finish this DLC and finish this game, but, you know, it's really never going to actually happen, is it? I believe I said at the end of the last stream, and probably the last two or three streams, that I was going to finish this the next time, or very soon. So, so long ago. I might do it. We'll see. Thank you, Bill, for your support, though. I mean, uh, there is a whole other game after this that I have to play, but... Let me see, how have I never been here before, apparently? Much to do. Nice little animations of people sweeping and building things. Bet these are all new for the uh, DLC. Black powder handled with care. Black powder. Ooh, what is this? Hmm? Yeah, I thought that was like a uh, way out, but I don't didn't see that from the art. I guess it's a elevator that goes up from the foundry, which battery watchtower, I think. Or do we just get out this way? East tower. Hmm. There is a quest to do something on the West Tower. Were we there? Certainly didn't get in any quest updates. Yeah, we'll just go to this side. I want to hear the answer. That's good. Blame it on the fox. Uh, heavy cannons are at the top of the West Tower. I just didn't do the interaction with this. Okay. Super, super chill. Go to the White Forge. Woo! And then we will go to the Big Scary Valley, I think, after that. Hmm. 
Well, it's kind of nice that they have this place. I didn't really check it out. There was probably some quests there. Well, that music changed very not legibly. Did I not do a cannon? How do I? Oh no, son of a bitch. Don't tell me. Okay, we're not doing it. What's going on with the castle? Nothing new to report. How did that go? No damage was done. Okay, sweet. Everything is built. Full lineup of uh, people. And decent amount of money. So, seems like we're in a pretty good place. Uh, Kron's Scar. That's where we're going, right? This should go super well. Oh, okay. It's, oh. Just story time. Yep. Do not want to battle all these boys. Hello? Hello? Normal purple orb of uh, well, that guy's dead. How about all you? I just figured these guys are going to be pretty easy, although. Could probably cast some spells. Hmm. K 
can't quite get both. Unless we blast our friends. I think that'll be good. Uh, hopefully not disastrous. Nope. Yep, they did. And that's that. Let's go touch this purple thing. Touch it! Touch the corpse! The crater worries you and your three companions. It feels wrong, tainted, but the lure of riches is stronger. That giant rock in the center of the lake might contain gold, gems, more. It took a week of backbreaking labor, but the boat is finished. It may not be entirely watertight, but it'll be enough to get you across the lake and back. You set off from the shore, the icy wind f filling the sail. Sadon grins at you. He expressed the most doubt that the boat would float. A moment later, he's gone, barely managing a scream as the gigantic tentacle yanks him from the boat and under the water. More tentacles emerge from the water. The air is filled with the sound of cracking and the splintering wood. As the boat gets pulled apart, you dive into the water without a second thought and begin swimming madly for shore, hoping your friends are doing the same. Your heavy furs weigh you down, but by some miracle you make it to the land. You hear a burbling sound, and you look up to see one of the fish people, Alaguvaith, uh, standing over you, its spear raised. You rise to your knees, your hand raised, showing you have no weapons, that you pose no threat. The Alaguvaith... Uh, makes a sound again. Wait, you start to say, but the creature drives its spear deep into your chest before you can say anything else. Marshes flee the agony is brief before the world fades. Well, that's a hell of a way to go. So, should I go this way? Oh, no. Oh, that was because I stealth good. Yeah, be constant. Andrite fanatics. Okay. Um, let's see what's the other way. Andrite Fanatics. Oh, it's snow bears. And they see us and want to kill us. Numbers or a gift. Um, this is probably going to go super well. A span of ice flows. Uh, a span of ice flows separate two larger sheets. Uh, the flows continuously roil the water and bump into each other with the arrhythmic cracks. Despite their unstable positions, the flows are packed tightly enough that it's possible that you could leap across the span. Still, anyone short on grace and balance stands a good chance of sliding off the ice and into the fridge of water. You could jump across them. Uh, we don't have whatever. Cast a spell, blast of frost on the ice flows, yeah. Given the size of the flows, it is unlikely to keep the whole span stable for long. In fact, you can already hear a few of the larger pieces creaking against their temporary moorings. Jump across them. Jump. 
chill. With careful deliberation and cautious movements, you reach the other side safely. This is getting unbearable, am I right? Thank you, Bill, for those comments, because I murdered those two poor bears. Yay! I proceeded safely into the throes of the end of the DLC, perhaps? Or at least the back half, the, the meat of the back half? Well, I guess we're just going to have to kill these guys. At least we can do it one at a time. Um, you should headbutt. You should strike down. You should do a backflip. And you should punch. You sing a song. Songs are good. Uh, I don't, we don't need to terrify. Um, I guess we could get some skeletons going. There we go. Oh no. Yeah. Well, those skeletons died. Uh, now this eyeless hammer should die. Oh, hey, Sea Wolf, how's it going? Uh, but first, Bill said, I wonder if there were any rolls in that ice crossing. I think there might have been. I think uh, casting the frost did it. Um, that's a robot. It is a robot. There are lots of big robots. Does anyone have the special hammer you got equipped? Hammer? I have a hammer. I completely forgot everything that happened. Um, no. No one has a hammer. Does anyone seem like they would be a good user of the hammer? This probably... Uh, yeah, that's a little bit better. Okay, thank you. That slot can't be changed in combat, but... Well, yeah. Um, the properties. Yes, I will look at the properties now. Accuracy versus deflection, plus four might. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> Uh, plus 15 accuracy, plus 55% damage. Um, yes. Bind soul. Yes. Okay. Oh. Wait. I did bind it now. Bind this item to unlock the next level. I think maybe I needed to do that. Uh, let's read the description text for the the audience at home. Despite being topped by a mere fragment of Abaddon's original hammer, this weapon, now sized for kith hands, is still an instrument of awesome and destructive force. The faces of the great hammer's head still bear the tool marks of their creator. Not even the fires of the White Forge could erase Abaddon's work. As a percent, uh, it might update after you unpause. Oh, okay. Well, we'll get there. Okay, um, I guess I should probably exit combat, but this doesn't seem likely to happen anytime soon. Someone got kicked. Itumak again. Oh no. Uh... I mean, uh, 
Yeah, you also had Maneha you said Sewell said. Um Yeah. It's like not holding me that back that much to have a thing that instant kills them. Um Oh, and also, Bill says, I want to be topped by Abaddon, too. Which is really great and helpful. Oh. Ooh, that's a lot of wounds. Uh... Yeah, that. Okay. There we go. See, it pops right up. Uh, see, Will says, so did Andra, Bill. Uh, so did Andra in, in tap, being taught by Abaddon. Yeah, that is the mythology. Um, no, not the Czech professional rock climber. Bill, definitely not that one. Although, I'm sure, well, you know. Destroy Eyeless on critical hit. Ring of the Ancient Forge. Ooh. That seems like a real good weapon. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Let's just chow through these. Oh, that's a lot of other boys. Um. Hmm. I love it when this happens. It seems to happen a lot. Nice, nice little, uh, yeah. See, Wolf said, I think I had at least as much trouble with the Lago Faith as Eyeless because the former paralyzed people. And Bill says it's very good. Yeah, the animation mess ups. I mean, when you fail, fail beautifully. That's what they say, right? Uh, let's kill that wizard, please. Um. Actually, yeah. I want to say, yeah. I think he do Mox down.
Yeah, let's cancel everything because this is over. All right. There's probably some decent stuff in there. We'll check it out later. Let's find some more of these guys to chew through. Oh! Uh, also, I didn't seem to equip. Oh no, whoops. Well. Seawolf says, lol, because I forgot to equip the hammer, which is appropriate. Are these guys even affected by fear? Like, what are we even doing here? Um, we've got some wounds. Yeah, let's let's shoot our boys full of juice. Healing juice. Everybody needs it. Um No, yeah, let's not Let's just do damage. Wow, Itumak is taking a lot of damage. And I don't like it. I think I'm going to need to camp soon. Hmm... Let's let's get up close and personal. Please stop kicking that dog. Apparently they're not immune to fear, says Seawolf, which is good. Because I'm a fearsome, fearsome bunch of fellas. Oh, I'm dead. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Again, did not use... Oh, yeah, let's revive. Let's go ahead and go over here and revive me. Did that not work? Didn't seem to. Okay. First things first. Nope. I'm not in combat. Here we go. What is this? No. Punching. Punching is the thing that we do. Um. Uh, 
artillery summoning horn. Uh, that's probably uh, so used for a quest then? Well, we'll get to that at some point. Yeah, let's rest. Or we'll just summon some ogres. I mean, who knows? Um. Yeah, it's well. That is one way to stop the hammer. Just kick the person with the hammer in the face and send them flying. You need to not be there. No. I mean, this will be over soon, I imagine. Maneha destroyed. Destroy Eyeless. 49 crush damage. Barbaric Blow. Does Barbaric Blow, like, guarantee a crit? Uh, I'm sorry, Tentacle? Uh, Seabull says, Nod's just something that you can use here. It's your support for getting the help of either the Orgers or the Raid Sarens in attacking this area without actually having them on the map. That seems chill. Big tall boys who fall down real hard. All right, I guess let's fight a tentacle. What is this? Uh, Seawolf said, I think it's at the end of the last stream you had the cutscene where they all meet up at the forge, and assuming you did their side quest, they pledged to help you attack this place. Oh, so I should probably do that sooner rather than later. That seems like a great idea. Thank you, Seawolf. Dead again. Does this not? Okay, it does. Oh, he's kind of getting his ass handed to him by the tentacles. Can't really get this guy's attention anymore. Oh yeah, we forgot to attack.
How about more tentacles? There are no eyeless. Let's see, Wolf uh, did a cute little Toby Eamon. Very helpful as always because the end of the last stream was a very, very long time ago. There we go. Just a nice, nice shot. Planks have been peeled from the bow of this fishing boat. Hmm. I wonder if I'm going into a, some kind of cave or something. Does this... Can, oh, no, it doesn't. It also only wants for rest. Will that work? Can I charm? That would be hilarious. Oh my. I just need hit points. Um, it seems like it might be useful. Just dead. Oh, that's a lot of them. That's, uh. You, you did the DLC? Why did you do the DLC more than anything else in the game? The artillery ability? Yeah. I think. I think a hasty retreat might be a, a good idea. Oh, you liked it more than everything else, so you just felt more inclined to play, th like, to, to scratch all of the corners. Uh, let's see what else is. The burning pitch trebuchet allows you, uh, ability used on them is the artillery support from the raid sarens. Oh, fantastic. So I should do it again, is what you're saying. Get our per encounters refreshed. Yeah, that's good. That's very good. Hmm. Immune. Don't like that. It 
don't like any of this uh, two people dead thing. Let's kill this guy and retreat. And then hopefully they can escape. Yeah, there we go. See, it's all... I mean, I almost want to take a rest so we can call those trolls in again, but I think that would just be a little too... I think we can push through. Let's quick save, though. Eyeless Stonepiercer was the name of this enemy. I was really hoping for a... Oh, that was not what I was hoping for. Let's switch, maybe? Do a kickflip. Summon a dragon. All the things that are helpful. Go, my little pig. Oh. Hmm. I don't know if I looked at this enough. So I'm going to go back around probably rest before going into whatever this place is because some of us have uh, concussions and that's what you should do when you have concussions is rest apparently well that was nothing what's over here Seems suspicious. Oh, hello, Andrite Fanatic. Um, I'm going to do the thing I always do and break it all up. Oh, that's a that's a bigger wolf. It's a bigger... It's bigger than before. Mm, that seems like a good idea. Well, that doggy went down quick. That seemed like a really good idea at the time. Yeah, let's pray for everybody. And also summon skeletons. Hmm, yeah, 
let's try killing the priest. Knock you down. Mm. Monk fight? I believe we are in a monk fight. of paladin fighting, huh? Let's do it. dying much where hmm a lot of people dying This doesn't seem to be going super well. Gonna say that. Oh. Hmm. Who is the most killable at this moment? I guess the monk. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, people, size of, of people. Uh, yeah, Seawolf has it right. I don't I don't think it's possible to run away. Um Wow. Coming after my my ranger like that. Um, yeah, this seems kind of serious. Wow. Three on the monk, huh? Who's dead? Well, this is just going all sorts of bad. Time to call for skeletons? Wow, you two mock. No skeletons will be coming to this party. I think, yeah, this might be reload time. Mm. 
That didn't go so good. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, let's see what we can do to uh, rethink that scenario. Is it up this way? Hmm. Resting would help because then we could call trolls, and that's just always good. Sea Wolf says F, which is accurate. Much respect. Instead, I'm just go this way and, and catch these guys by surprise by coming at them from the front. Oh no. There seem to be a lot of, uh, lots of everybody. Hmm. Um, it seems like they did expect it, and I'm already regretting everything that I've done. Oh great, another, just a war dog. As I'm slowly consumed by, Jesus, I'm not doing any damage. Seems to be going not great. I didn't like that they all collapsed on my wizard. You were at where I needed to go. Um, but I must kill everybody. I mean, that is the point of the game, is it not?
Oh, I don't like that. What if I just did this and There's no there's no game sound? Uh that's unfortunate. Why is there no game sound? Their game, there's game sound now. Okay, uh, I blame that one on OBS. I'm sorry that there was no game sound at all for the game. It's just me talking. Oh boy. You were imagining your own sound? You were you making, you know, like, sword noises? I hope. <laughs> wow. That was... Who... Maneha again with the, uh... Activates Destroy Eyeless. Missing so many, so many great sound effects that this Got game it. has to offer. Oh, so much loot. I must have it all. You're all naked now. Let's do a quick save. Oops. Well, that didn't work. Seawolf said, uh, sorry, I'm gonna repeat a lot of chat messages because I can't bother learning how to use stream Streamlabs? Slobs? Um, and put chat on the screen. But Seawolf said, uh, we were missing so many args, which is the true audio experience of this game. that wolf so hard it exploded. Oh, this is the same encounter but from the backside. Uh, Bill says, "What? just hook text-to-speech up and have the computer read chat at all times. What could possibly go wrong? A good point. Oh, I seem to have exploded a lot of people this time, so that seems like a better, it's already going much better. Can you 
You can do better, Aloth. Aloth, because Aloth is dead. Oh no. Well, this was going better. Well, they're dead. Let's spook everybody. Punches. That's not a great amount of health. But at least the one guy's dead. Oh, everybody's dead. Including Palagina. Wah wah. Um. A wizard could do better. Uh, Bill, if you spin rapidly uh, uh, while casting a cone effect, can you make the arc wider? Let's say you just carry a strong Lazy Susan everywhere you go and stand on it and have the fighter spin your mage right before they cast. You know? I bet it's been tried. And I bet it's a bug in a lot of games. Got it. But I'm here to say it should be allowed. Let's see what's in here. Yep. I'd like to pick That'll that up. do it. Ah, jeez. <laughs> Did I actually enter combat? No. I just fell over. I continue to fall over. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh! Well, that's not good. That's all the injuries. I'm also running low on campfires. Oh, well, no, not anymore. Thanks, treasure chest. Cold water drips from the roof of this yurt and puddles in the hearth. That's disgusting. Seawolf said, well, that was a trap. And it sure was. This yurt reeks of stale sweat. There's only one bedroll inside. This is a disgusting place. The yurt is empty, but for a few heavy bedrolls. I'm going to take your flowers and be on my way, you disgusting people. Yurt folk. Nah, yurts are cool. I got nothing against yurts, personally. Uh, okay, so I was where I need to go, and that's where I'm gonna go. Um, oh, I should. Boop. Boop. Oh, we left some... Some stuff. Uh, 
Oh, because we didn't finish. Well, that. Oh, no. Got kicked. It happens. Uh, oh yes, those are the guys I ran away from. I forgot my cowardly escape. I'm stronger now. Can take those guys. That's not a thing. layer of the eyeless so we need to get to a crystal and do something with it uh, maybe we should look this up get to the crystal at the bottom of yoni brother there's a large crystal that runs through the core of yoni brother i need to reach it and strike it with abaddon's hammer and it should bring the entire cavern down that seems like a chill way to solve this Uh, except Ondra might tell me not to do that. Hello. This can only be Ondra's hair. Appearing before you a fraction of a size typically reported by mariners unfortunate enough to encounter them on the high you seas. You have done well to have come so far. I confess I was not certain you would make it. But I do not wish to give false hope. The greater challenge remains in front of you. Uh, yeah, the eyeless have to be stopped. Running through the core of this rock is a large growth of crystal. You will know it when you see it. A blow to the crystal would reverberate through the walls of this place. Strike it enough and the entire structure would crumble. The eyeless would be buried. Of course, it would take a person years to cause enough damage. Not with the help of our eyeless. Then you know what must be done. Fuck him up. Strike the crystal with Arbidon's hammer. The eyeless will wake and come to its call. Join in striking the crystal. They will cluster together and bury themselves. Hmm. I have realized it is best that they should be ended, for within each of them is a small piece of Arbidon himself. Upon their deaths, those fragments and the memories they contain will be safely dispersed. I had not considered the dangers of allowing them to persist until a watcher appeared at my abbey. Um, you want me to wake up more of them? They will not attack as long as they are fixated on the sound of Abidin's hammer. But that is where the problem lies. A single strike upon the crystal will not be enough. The eyeless respond only as long as the hammer rings. You will need to remain until their work is complete, wielding the hammer until the walls come crumbling down. What? But that would mean... Oh. Hmm. Yeah, you might have mentioned that sooner. What has to be done has not changed. That you are so close makes it more likely you will accept it. The eyeless cannot be reasoned with or fled from. One day not far from now, they would kill you and level the Deerwood. You have seen what they will do. This is the way you can stop them. And the truth is that you are marked by the eyeless for a reason. 
It would be better for all if the things you have seen were forgotten. <laughs> A tidy ending for the Sea Queen. But we'll write our own, right? A clean slate for us and the world. Maybe that's not such a bad thing. The watery columns drop all at once back into the pool, sending up a small splash. The pool settles, and looking down into it, you see only the faces of you and your companions, alone and condemned. Hmm. Okay. So this is chill. I gotta die? Do you understand, though? I shall be discreet. Ready, Watcher. Can't get a good shot. Better get a good shot. got through the first guy uh, relatively undisturbed. Nope, can't, can't reach. Pool. Uh, let's let's wait on that one.
got it. Hmm. Let's go back to that pool. Might be something cool in it. Who's our best uh, athletic score? Maneja, I think. We constitution. Uh, unfortunately, she's still the best. Already going numb. You gotta swim to the surface as fast as possible. Easily reach the surface ahead of their clawing hands. And here come the fish boys. <laughs> fighting and there oh. poor fish people Boots. Uh, heavy damage proof, minor spellbind, wild sprint. Don't know what that does, so I'm gonna just put everything. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> That looks like a crystal we could hit. Or no, I guess that's the one. There it is. A few swings and this is all over. A few swings. Uh, how do we get to that? I'm sorry. Oh, we have to swim down? Sorry. Defeat the Kraken. Wow. -y. have feet? Such a great question. Wow, it really sending those uh, those guys after me. I'll kick the tentacle. I think they're all doing what they should be doing. Mm, 
what's going on over here though? Seems like there's just an extra. Better try something else. Uh, what if? I think, yeah, just doing damage to it with the wizard seems like a really good idea. To the main guy. Does a kraken have feet? asked Bill. Great question. work. Destroy this tentacle. Um, I've definitely injured the primordial, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. Let's also summon a dragon. Let's do a poison cloud. Ah. Oh, hello, friend. Badly injured. That's excellent. Sophie! You wanna come up here, baby? Come say hi? And down goes the ranger. Right, I brought you back here to heal people, but it's a little too late for that.
Yeah, actually, let's just sick Ichumak on the mother kraken. And avenge Sagani. I don't know if I just killed my own person. Death, Itumak. Oh no. Didn't make it. Um Lightning Bolt. I need to get the resurrection going a little bit. Yeah, uh, you're gonna go down real hard. Excellent. Revive dog. Uh, Aloth did 34 freeze damage on the Kraken and 60 on the Eyeless Hammer, that's pretty good for a last hit. Itumak is back. A lot of, a lot of swings on this one. Kraken is down. But can I survive the aftermath? Yeah, let's go there while chanting to get the revive on possibly two party members. Keep this going. Okay, that's that's pretty good. Wow. Woo and boo says Bill. Um this is this is going all sorts of ways. Um Black Ring of Necrotic Energy it's, it's uh, causing crow damage to all enemies. It touches and potentially destroying those with low endurance. That seems like a chill thing to do in general.
definitely dead, 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 dead. Twenty two crush damage on Palagino. There we go. Uh, let's see this art that Bill linked real quick. Oh! Woo boo. Woo boo, woo boo. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Let's pass the that was a satisfying a boss fight. Oh, and is there boss fight finish music? You beat the Kraken music? You're about to uh, die in the storyline music. I guess I should rest up in case this uh, doesn't go the way I think. Yeah, let me rest up save, and I actually have to use the restroom real quick. So we'll do it. we'll take a quick little break, and then we'll come and maybe finish the storyline. I assume I'm still able to do the the ending of the main game after this, so I don't die somehow. So stick around and find out how I don't die.
I could assume you're wasting my time, but I'd like to believe you're simply holding me in reserve for some cunning stratagem. Okay. I cheated and also made myself a margarita. Uh, Seawolf said, wow, Palagina, I probably missed some dialogue. Um, no loot from the Kraken. I think I'm fine. Maybe I should look at... Gray Sleeper. So there's a soulbound weapon and I'm not even using it. Except that's who would use... Yeah, okay, I did. Okay. Chastise me for sitting around, that's good. Uh, that, Palagene is always doing that. And yes, Bill is uh, correct. It is mark time. An enormous crystal juts from the wall like a spearhead protruding from a wound. An army of reflection stares back at you from the crystal's perfect facets. It echoes the sound of your footsteps and soft ringing hums. Someone will have to take up Abaddon's hammer and strike the crystal, and Ondra warned that whoever does so will be buried in this place with the Eyeless. Whom do you choose? I mean, I would say the, the, the bearer of the hammer, Maneha? Is that bad? I don't want any of these people to die for the next game. I think Maneha would probably impact the next game the least if she died, or maybe Sagani, but um, I'm not going to sacrifice someone like that. I, oh jeez, should I do it? Does the game end if you do that? See, Wolf, what did you do? Did you draw lots, or did you make Maneha do it? Well, so clearly the noble thing to do is do it yourself. Um, this is correct. Did you, though? Did you do it? You did it yourself? Okay, I'll you do it myself. You have led us too. bravely. It has been an honor to follow your lead. Am I gonna die? As long as I live, Masuk will sing your name alongside Persox. Everyone will know what you've done for us. I'll tell everyone I know. Not even the Sea Queen herself could stop me. Oh, You're a no. brave soul. 
Wish I'd met you sooner. Oh no. A perfect cr clear tone rings through the air and resonates through your teeth. Seconds later, ripples shiver through the water. Something big is coming. You give the others a final nod. The rest of the party scrambles out of the flooded cavern and flees through the tunnels. You continue hammering at the crystal, each strike magnifying the last. The echoes build into physical tremors. Meanwhile, a heavier rhythm pulses through the cave. Footsteps. Dozens of them. The others round a corner, only to see a line of eyeless advancing. The creatures stagger to the rhythm of the hammer thuds below, yet they crane their necks toward the party, ratcheting back their piston arm. Um, cast mirror image? Aloth will cast it. The likeness appears along the tunnel. The eyeless roar and lunge furiously at the images. Party sprints past the distracted monsters. Fortunately, the creatures are too focused on the hammering to give chase. They continue toward the cavern. You maintain a steady tempo on the crystal. Uh oh. Eyeless gather in the cavern where they batter the walls in time with the hammer's rhythmic blows. The ground shakes, falling rocks and shattering crystals splash to the ground. The party flees through dark, rumbling corridors. More spellbound eyeless shamble along, but they're true and too entranced by the swelling cadence to take more than an idle swipe at the party. The tunnel narrows. Light filters through ahead. The exit must be around the next bend. But it's clogged with rubble! Meanwhile, the ground drops several feet at once, and the tunnel begins rolling on its axis. Uh, the distant sound of rushing water echoes from the cavern. Uh, uh, friends... Uh, no, lever the rubble. One must be a weak spot that takes practice eye to find it. Who will clear it away? Um, Maneha? Can't seem to find a leverage point. Paladrina. Okay, I guess I'll just keep doing this. Okay. Well, consider other options. Frenzy. Maneha will just bash through it with her face. Party escapes onto the ice as another thunderous crash sounds from below. Eyeless continue pouring into the cavern from every visible tunnel and crevice. Your ear rings your ears ring at the ever growing cacophony of smashing rock and shattering crystal. Meanwhile the water level is rising. A skull splitting crack rends the air and a surge of water knocks you from your feet. The entire cavern rotates, plunging you into a freezing soup of jagged metal torn flesh and stone. The others dash across the lake. The ice squeals and crackles, rocking dangerously underfoot. The sinking moon... Oh, Sophie's in the windows. Uh, oh, there she goes. The sinking moon groans. Long fissures race across the ice. Um, chant blessed... Yeah, the quickest of his tribe. Uh, Kana? Everyone is filled with vigor. At last, everyone reaches the safety of the shore. In the middle of the lake, only the tip of the moon is still visible above the ice. The survivors watch in silence as it sinks into the depths. The world seems to be falling apart in slow motion. You sink into the lake alongside the dark shapes of moon fragments and crushed eyeless. Your limbs ache and your lungs burn. Sparks flicker across your vision, not sparks, scales. Uh, Lagufeth gather in front of you and you notice something unusual in their ear doesn't eyes. The spike a spark of uncommon intelligence, you hear a whisper in your mind. You freed us from our prison in Durgan's battery. Consider our debt repaid. Ooh. The Lago Faith, um, possessed by the spirits of Maroon and some of the other Pargarin, uh, swarm and rush you to the surface. At last, you reach the shallows. You punch through a thin crust of ice and crawl ashore, trembling but alive. Hell yes. Alive! Alive! I'm glad I did that thing that I apparently did. You stand at the edge of the lake. The bobbing of the ice and the rippling of the water's surface slow uh, until you're wa looking at a moment frozen in time. When the world begins moving once more, it moves in reverse. Oh, jeez. Gained a lot of experience, though. 
surface of the water churns and roils like it's about to speed something up, and it does. The fragment of Yone Brother rises, unbroken. Ice reforms across the surface of the lake, spreading in long, freezing fingers. Eyeless file out of the moon fragments and onto the ice. They wind around the moon in an ever-widening spiral. They stop as the head of their line reaches you. They speak in a single voice that resonates with grinding metal and hissing steam. We shatter and sink, discarded like worn tools. Why have you consigned us to oblivion? Um, why have I... Are you serious? You've killed many innocent people. I think that's probably a good place to start. We do not cherish violence, but we will fight to defend the legacies of this world. Right, I still... Uh, oh no, I do have the devil. I don't have... Where did I get the one guy? I just casually swim out. That's really hilarious. Um, I do have the devil. She did not seem extremely pleased to be in my party at any point. In one hand, a hammer. In the other, a mace. We protect the greatest works of civilization, lest it collapse beneath its own weight. The How do you get the, the diving helmet? Did I miss a side quest? I guess I missed a lot of uh, side quests. Why did you storm Durgan's battery 200 years ago? We would sooner sacrifice our own bodies than dislodge a single stone from such a place. Why do you torment us with baseless accusations? Who changed from a preserver to a destroyer? Undra change you. Then we were betrayed. Yes, you were transformed against your will. And we were made to betray something we cherish. Legacy of the Anguithans, you mean. The bedrock of civilization. Yeah, it's probably just sitting in my stash. But I am glad that, you know, I got... I guess uh, I did whatever thing I needed to do. Or a couple ways out of this part. This part in particular. I mean, um, we'll see. Suddenly they attack the ice beneath them, slicing and shattering it with uh, mighty swings from their iron arms. And when the ice breaks, ancient towers rise, blotting up the blue sky and white peaks. Ondra wanted and within f civilization forgotten. Better for her tides to ebb and her seas to dry up than to cover a single stone the with is laid. The yeah, ice shakes with the fury of the eyeless. Each culture builds on the bones of the last. Yet many only look up at where they would go, never down at the foundations that bear them. Like a mason who builds a listing tower, the remaining ice sheet cracks and groans. What peril do they inflict on their progeny? And what dishonor on their forebears? You hear the strain of crumbling stone in the voice of the eyeless. Now I have divine counsel in my favor, and I can hardly present it as evidence. How frustrating. Hmm. Betrayal of memory upsets you greatly. It is accepting a gift only to spit in the face of the giver. Every advance in the crafts and institutions of Kith was forged by skill and sacrifice. Seawolf says those are just the ways for the person with the hammer to not die. Okay, cool. Well, I guess I did the, uh, whatever the side quest is for making the Lagufeth rescue me. So... That's uh, another way, I, but, you know, probably would have been also chill to just have a robot take care of it without any risk or whatsoever. Uh, you can order an ogre to do it. That's very good. 
A people cut off from their history will wither. And they deserve no less. They'll be free to choose their own path. A path that leads in circles. That is why we must return to ourself and restore Abidon. Um, there are seemingly a lot of dialogue options for this, and there are a lot of ways this can resolve. I'm not even sure if I remember which way I want this to resolve, necessarily, or what's at stake. Uh, like, what is bringing their civilization back going to do? Perhaps Abaddon was meant to forget his past, some knowledge is too dangerous to the world, you speak as if history were a guide, yet it doesn't always provide a good example. Memory remains a burden, even when the events and people it recalls are long gone, it's pain with no purpose. Very well, return to yourself and be the god of preservation once more. Enough, you must not restore Abaddon's memory or his dominion or over preservation. Um, that's from the end of DLC 1. Oh, with the ghosts in the forge, you decide whether to find them. I didn't realize that that would result in fish people helping me. I guess that's a little... Yeah, what do you mean about returning to yourself? Let's when Ioni Brotha fell, Abidon lost much. His will to preserve the memory of how and why he died. But he built us with fragments of his own soul. In returning, we can restore what was taken from him. Yeah, I'll just make this broad argument, I think. Then do not look to it for one. History is not a moral force, but a set of facts. These facts show Kith where they have come from, and how to move forward. The Pragrunen uh, were obsessed with the past. They died in the keep they built to honor it. Dear Woodens and Glen Fathens have fought two wars over their history, and they still haven't moved forward. Stalwart and the Iron Flail remained at odds even in the face of a bigger threat, all because of their history. But the memory of those wars has likely saved them from another now, when it would shatter a barren deer wood. Better if two nations could form a stronger accord, yes. And how are such ties forged but through years of peace? You speak of a worthy goal, but only a steadily built history can achieve it. Okay, Seawolf with the uh, story recap paragraph. Thank you very much. Abaddon got mad about something that was erased from history. Andra hit him with a moon, and he became the giant skeleton of the temple. Yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds familiar also. Uh, these are Abaddon's servants, which Andra appropriated to destroy anyone who uncovers his history the gods want buried. They can't say what history specifically, since people might play this before playing the end of the game once. But it's that. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, that's, um, okay, well, just more godly, godly fuckery, basically. Um, yeah, let's go the through the other The problem is not histories. that they remember too much of their history, but rather too little. Ice underfoot suddenly becomes clear, becomes suddenly clear. Between your boots, you see an ocean separating Adir and the rest of the Eastern Reach. Great Serens and Deer Woodens alike began as pioneers from Adir. They all came seeking opportunity. Boats as small as ants crawl across the grassy blue. This is kind of cool that they're just like showing us the um, Were history. Were they to a look farther bit. back, they would see their common origins and desires. These are really uh, riderly responses. The experience of history is subjective. People remember what feels immediate and personal, just as you remember your own betrayal. Or that would not change that they want different things now. A shared history will never trump circumstances, present circumstances. Yeah, I think number one might be the best. A painful truth. They pause, recalling their suffering. You feel it radiate from, like, heat. Maybe so. But we would not cast history aside over one such example. Pagranen were obsessed with the past. And their brethren have built a culture that stretches across Aora, all because they recognize the importance of their shared legacy. Uh, 
Uh, and before you killed them, they nearly destroyed themselves arguing over the meaning of that legacy. Yet it drove them to create marvels. Could it have torn them apart with equal force? We admit that history can become a hindrance. Even so, we must restore Abidan. That's uh, pain with no purpose. Burden strengthen the bearer, and they warn against repeated mistakes. Mane Why would you discard them so hastily? Maneha Maneha shouldn't have to suffer guilt over an act she committed in a past life. Pleasing or no, that memory was a part of her. In surrendering it, she lost a part of herself. The part that spent every waking hour obsessed with old history, perhaps. What I lost was a burden, and one that bent me over for years. It would be better if Kith did not become trapped by guilt, sorrow, and shame. But we speak of what should be. You recognize what is. Yet such destructive memories are rare. Surely others are strengthened by retrospection, even amidst pain. A rare opportunity, for you have the chance to answer them, to do things left undone. Creatures raise their misshapen arms, and the voice of their souls is as deep and melodious as a bell. Um, sometimes moving on is the way to move forward, remaining stuck in the past is not progress. I guess that's true. That presumes that some questions cannot be resolved. We confess that we had little understood how memory shapes and stunts Kith. Even so, we must restore Abidan. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> A facile argument. One that defends stasis, not progress. Kith shouldn't have anything as powerful as the White Forge. Uh, some secrets need to be kept. I thought I did. But who would hold the leaden key accountable? We cannot defend the intentions of a group that kills to hide secrets. And to what end? To defend the gods? Or themselves? More and more these days, I wonder. And Avanci has made no progress. He was responsible for, yeah, all the, all the bad things. And what great achievement has not begun with failure? Would you condemn the world to stagnation simply to avoid it? Um. I think appealing to a, a more philosophical thing will. We had not considered yeah. this. Still, you point to an exception. And yeah, they shouldn't have anything Yet as powerful. Your hand kindled its fires. At the time, I didn't know exactly what it was capable of. Nor do you know now what Kith might achieve with it. Do not condemn knowledge when it becomes inconvenient for you. Oh, I did not. Dude, Just as fire that. clears dead wood from a forest, struggle makes way for new developments. Flame rolls across the ice. As it dies away, clumps of ice melt. The towers rise higher. Conflict is part of progress. Peace and ignorance is not worth keeping. I've said my piece. And we have listened. Um... I guess I'm just going to piss off the gods? Uh, am I going to miss a sweet boss fight if I let them do their work? Am I going... Am, am I doing something bad by letting them? Like, I, I kind of... I kind of forgot everything, honestly. <laughs> a little bit. Um, when Eoni Brotha fell, but he built yeah, us that's... with fragments of his own soul. In returning... We can restore what was taken from him. Well... I think I'll... Uh, uh, be the god of preservation. Um... 
my general memory of this game and my choices on it that I wanted to make were kind of fuck the gods. So I'm gonna go with this one. We shall see this world and its people restored. Unless this isn't actually good. The Eyeless disappeared beneath the lake, their bond to Andra finally severed. With this threat ended, hope returned to the White March. Hunters returned to the wildernesses and travelers to the roads. Tales of the Watcher's bravery replaced stories of monsters in the woods. The villagers of Stalwart busied their hands with work I did and their tongues with song, eager to seize on the promise of peace. I hope I made the right choices, because I sure made some choices. Um, all soulbound upgrades are now completed. So that's cool. Ooh, nice. Everyone's scared of this hammer. And I got an achievement. Um, with him knowing about getting hit with the moon. So he'll be angry at the gods, which I think serves my general purposes. Did I, I finish the DLCs, I assume. So now it's just on um, finishing the uh, main game. I can't finish the game right now it's 10 30 at night it would be at least an hour and a half especially with all, uh, all of my rending of garments over you know whether or not I or how much I remember the story of the, the main game at this point other than the choices I wanted to make uh, in order to start the next game off with a proper character Amazing. You could fit a whole village in here. Yes. And I intend to. And oh wait, no, actually. Now that I think about it, um having a village in here would be bad considering what happens to this at the start of the second game. Merchant stalls was destroyed. Well, I guess I'll I have to spend some money. Hooray! Finished in one day. Um, okay, uh, well, Seawolf said, you know, you'd expect to be, he would be angry, Abaddon would be angry and still wanting to expose the stuff we find out in the ending, which is what got him, uh, mooned in the first place. I, I, I guess you would know, but I'm assuming that it doesn't actually affect the ending in any way. Having done that stuff, it kind of is just its own little side story. It is a good one, for sure. I'm happy I played through that, um. I really like this game a lot, and I think that was a good addition to it. I don't think it was necessary for the the main story that I played through in like the first month that it came out, just like shotgun the entire thing. But um, it w it was a good addition on reviewing this game, re playing through it now uh, before I play the second game. Long awaited. Also, can't wait to play Divinity Original Sin 2 after I play the next game, because got so many games to catch up on. Um, it doesn't affect the ending of this game or Dead Fire. Well, that's unfortunate, but uh, not too surprising. Anyway, thank you for joining on this uh, stream. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to make any promises at this point on when the I'm going to do the final stream of this, but we will go out in style, um, hopefully within um, the next month. Oh, yeah, that, that's a good... How many... Mm, how many streams would you wager that you have left to stream of Deadfire? Uh, there's a lot of DLC. Do you have all of it? Have you... Uh, d gone through that, Seawolf? Because, um... Yeah. Oh, God. 
I cannot wait to uh, somehow have the time. Well, yeah, if I had the time to play through uh, Dead Fire, God, that uh, something in my life would be going very, very right. Oh, four to five streams left, so four to five weeks. Uh, one stream left of DLC. Did two old DLC and didn't get the others. Uh, yeah, they don't all seem super great, but some of them seem kind of cool. And I expect I'll get them all at some point. Especially if I do actually end up playing through most of the, the main game, which I really hope to. It looks fantastic. Anyway, thank you all for joining me. Um, I'm going to go do something else. Good, goodbye. Good, good, goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.